The family of a Clay County teenager shot and killed Tuesday evening is mourning the loss of a young man. They say always had a smile on his face and like these pictures you see behind me. They say he had big plans for his life. He wanted to go to LSU and do something to help animals. On your side's Don White is joining us live tonight in Clay County with how his brother and aunt are remembering him. Don. Well, Anthony, 18 year old Skyler Towson lost his life here along Center Street in Green Cove Springs. These shards of tattered glass mark the spot where a life full of promise ended early. It's very unfortunate. He was so young. It's just tragic. Alexandria Robertson says her nephew Skyler Townsend had his act together and was always mature for his age. So he was very intelligent, um, graduated school early. Um, he just turned 18. He's hilarious. He can make you laugh at anything. He's very goofy. The Orange Park High School graduate was raised by a single mother. His older brother, Caden, says the two were best friends. I want everyone to remember him uh, for the caring person that he was. He was there for everyone. He loved making people laugh. He was there when everyone needed him. It was numerous, numerous things that he could have done. I mean, he was just like I said, a very well-rounded child, I mean, and smart, and I mean, he had the world in his hands. And police did find a car of interest in Jacksonville last night. Two other men were shot, but they are expected to be OK. Why the family tells me that this murder is like deja vu all over again tonight at 6. Live in Green Cove Springs, Dawn White, First Coast News on your side.